What's going on guys? In this video, I will be showing you how to set up the Nintendo Switch emulator Ryu Jinx on Mac. The system I will be using is the Mac Mini with the M2 chip. Okay, let's go ahead and head on over to ryujinx.org. The link to this page will be in the description below. Once you are here, at the top, you will see download. Go ahead and click on that. And we are gonna be downloading Ryu Jinx for Mac. So go ahead and click right here for Mac OS and allow this download. Now go ahead and open your downloads and you will see that Ryu Jinx file. I'm gonna drag it to my desktop. Now also here on my desktop, I have created a folder called Ryu Jinx files where I have a few Switch games and I have my keys. In this folder, I have five ROMs and my keys. Now I am sorry, I cannot tell you where to get Switch ROMs or where to get your title keys. So you will have to do your own research to find them or you can check out my Patreon page, link in the description below. And over there, I have some videos that can help you guys out with both of these. Now let's go ahead and open our Ryu Jinx file. If you get this pop-up, Ryu Jinx cannot be opened because Apple cannot check it for malicious software. Go ahead and click OK. And you wanna go up to the top left of your home screen and click on the Apple logo and go to system settings. And then you wanna come down to privacy and security and let's scroll all the way down. And you will see right here, Ryu Jinx was blocked from use. Go ahead and click open anyway. Enter your Apple password and then hit modify settings. Then you will get another pop up saying Ryu Jinx cannot be open, but this time you will have the option to open. Go ahead and click open. Now, when you open Ryu Jinx for the first time, you will get this notification keys not found. Go ahead and click OK. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and install our keys. So let's go up to file, open Ryu Jinx folder. And then you want to click on the system folder and inside of this folder is where you want to place your keys. So I'm going to bring up my Ryu Jinx folder that I created on my desktop that contains my prod keys and title keys. And all I'm going to do is highlight them and drag them right into that system folder. And also note that your prod and title keys must be extracted before moving them into the system folder. Something else you're gonna need is an up-to-date firmware file if you plan on playing newer release Switch ROMs. Without this file, you may get a black screen when trying to play some ROMs. Now once again, I cannot tell you where to get this file, but I do have a video on my Patreon page that will help you with this as well. And also note this file does not have to be extracted, you wanna load the zip file straight into Ryu Jinx. So back on the emulator, we're gonna go up to Tools, install firmware and then install a firmware from XCI or zip. Go ahead and locate that file. In my case is on my desktop right here. Install firmware 17.0.1. Yes. Successfully installed. Okay. Now I'm going to upload my game ROMs into the emulator and your ROMs must be extracted and the file types must be XCI and NSP to be playable in Ryu Jinx. Now let's get these games in here. Let's go up to options, settings, down here under game directories, go ahead and click on add. Go ahead and locate wherever you have your Switch ROMs. In my case, I have them in that folder on my desktop called Ryu Jinx Files. Now that folder that contains your ROMs will be listed right here under Game Directories. Go ahead and click on that and then come down and hit Apply. And then hit OK. Now, if you have any DLC files or update files, I'm gonna show you how to add those to Ryu Jinx as well. And in my case, inside of that folder, one of my files was an update file for Sonic Frontiers. So to add that update, I'm gonna right click on Sonic Frontiers and go down to Manage Title Updates. Then click on Add. Locate wherever that file is. In my case, it's also in that Ryu Jinx files folder on my desktop. It's right here. And then hit open. Now it's gonna show us that update file, which is version 1.2.0. Our current version of Sonic Frontiers is 1.0.0. So let's go ahead and select that update and then come down to save. 
and as you see, the game has updated in Ryu Jinx to 1.2.0. Now I don't have any additional DLC files, but if you do, you want to right click on the game as well and go down to manage DLC. And you would do the same thing as you did for the update file. Just go to add, locate wherever your DLC files are, and then select open. Now let's set up our controller. Let's go up to options, settings, and go down to input. Now a PlayStation 5, Xbox Series, and Nintendo Switch Pro Controller will work with this emulator. And yes, you can pair a Switch Pro Controller with your Mac. The controller I will be using is a Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. So let's go over here next to Input Device, hit the drop down arrow, and for me, I'm gonna select Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. If you are using a PlayStation or Xbox controller, you will see those options here. Now let's go over to Controller Type, and we're gonna change this from Joy-Con pair to Pro Controller. Now the great thing about this emulator is that it will automatically map your controller out for you. And since I am using a real Switch Pro Controller, I don't have to change any buttons around. But let's say you did want to change a few buttons around. All you simply have to do is click on the button you wanna change. So let's say I wanted to change the A button, you would just click right here and hit whatever button on your controller you want to be that button. Once you are done setting up your controller, at the top you will see profile. Go ahead and click in here and we can delete this. And let's give this controller setup a name. I'm just gonna call it P1 and then come over and hit save profile. Now, if you have a second, third or fourth controller connected to your Mac, then you wanna come over here to player, select that next controller and you'll just repeat the setup process. Once you are finished, come down to apply and OK. Now let's go back up to options, settings. Now we do have some hotkeys. If you guys want to see what those are, then come down to keyboard hotkeys and you can change these around to your liking. Let's go down to system. And the only thing you want to make sure that's checked in here is V-Sync to make sure we don't get any screen tear. Now let's go down to graphics. Now you don't really need to make any changes in here. Everything at default settings will run best. For the graphics back in, Vulkan will give you the best performance, but if you are experiencing anything such as lag in a particular game, then you can come back here and switch this to OpenGL and see if you get better performance. Your GPU will be set to whatever chipset your Mac is using. In my case, it's an M2. Now for resolution scale, 720p will be for handheld mode and 1080p will be for docked. Now you can go all the way up to four times, but my N2 cannot handle that. So to make sure I get the best performance and experience with every game, I leave it at 720 1080p. But if you guys want to test your system and see how powerful it is, then you can go ahead and up the resolution. Now go ahead and take another look at my screen and make sure everything matches up to yours and then come down to apply and okay. Now one more thing we wanna do before we load up a game, you wanna come up to options and select start games in full screen mode. This way every time you launch a game, that game will launch in full screen. And if you don't select this, then you can just hit F11 in the middle of your game and it will go full screen. And now we can go ahead and load up a game. All you wanna do is simply click on the game and it should start. Now, if you experience any stutter when playing a game for the first time, it's not your system, it's the shaders loading in. Give it a few minutes and the gameplay will smooth out. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace.